Alright, so Jenny Real Estate is here again to bring you another landed listing and today we are at the Parbury Avenue. So Nisho, have you seen a property that's actually of cafe concept? Never. So interesting, right? Actually, we haven't seen a property like that even though we've marketed quite a number of landed properties, alright? And we're very excited to show you. Hi guys, this is Jervis. And this is Nisho. And welcome to another episode of Jenny Unlock. Alright, so come on into this unit. Right, so where I'm standing on right now is actually a true corner terrace at the Pabri Avenue with a land area of 2823 square feet and a build up of 2816 square feet. Right, as you can see, this entire property here, uh, you can see that this owner has taken the liberty to ensure that the entire property follows one theme, and which is the English Victorian style theme. Right, that's why this entire property looks extremely minimalistic and it's a black and black concept. Right, I think one thing that you can realize is that this really reminds you of those kind of cafes that we hop to that might Ship and Goodyfield always write about and the owner actually has done it right here okay so where I'm staying on right now is where the main living hall is at and this space here as you can see has currently an eight seater sofa and if you are a family of more than eight or even ten not to worry because this entire space here can fit all your family members as you enjoy your movies or just playing some board games right here right so directly linking the main living hall is where the dining area is at and currently this is a family of four that's why you realize that this dining table here only can fit up to four chairs but not to worry because this entire space here as you can see can fit nicely up to six or even eight individuals Alright, so directly linking the main dining area are a couple of it, right? The first one here is where the storage area is at and there's even a granny's room on the first floor as well. You know, for a lot of my landed owners, they love to have a granny's room because sometimes the elderly or the extended family, they can't come stairs anymore, right? So there's a granny's room right here and also a bathroom as well. Can see that the English Victorian style team actually moves and it flows congruently throughout this entire property. Even the kitchen is following the same theme as well, right? We have the white kitchen top, and this kitchen comes with full fledged fixtures. You can have the you know building wardrobes right here, the cooker hob, the cooker hood, and you also have a kitchen island right here. So this kitchen island is for those individuals who want to do some light cooking, maybe cooking some Maggie noodles. And this, there is an inbuilt stove here, a building stove for you to do some light cooking and even prepare the food here while you serve your family at the dining area, right? And you can see that this kitchen here is very well equipped because not only can you do your light cooking here, you can also do your heavy cooking here. And if I bring you to the backyard, for those who are avid chefs and you want to do heavy cooking, not to worry, there's space for you. Let's go and take a look. So directly linking this uh, kitchen to the balcony is where a bifold doors actually nicely segregate this entire space as you can see. And what's amazing about this bifold doors is that if let's say you are currently doing some heavy cooking outside, the smell wouldn't go in. And currently what the owners did is that this balcony area right here is actually used for his washing, his drying, and you know, the noise of the washing machine and dryer wouldn't go into the property as well. Okay, let me share with you how this balcony looks like, okay? So this balcony, as you can see, the owners actually have added a very modern tinge to this balcony by adding some glass panels here to allow natural lighting to continue to flow in, right? This is not facing, so you don't have to worry about the west sun coming in as well, right? And you can see behind me, there's actually a side gate here, and this side gate here links you directly to the HDB blocks where there is eateries, there are going to be hawker centres, and there's also going to be convenience shops for you to do your daily grocery shopping, okay? So don't worry. Let me show you how the side garden of this property looks like. Let's go. Alright, so welcome to the side yard of this property, right? So this side garden is not a luxury that all in the properties can enjoy because this property is a true corner terrace. That's why you have the space here to plant anything you love. I think this appeals really to those people with, with green fingers, right? Because this space here, what the owners have done, as you can see, is that he has planted trees, placed plants of his choice, and even a pomegranate tree right behind you, okay? And as you can see right in front of me here, these furnitures were actually meticulously shipped from Bali to place it here so that the owners can enjoy his afternoon tea while enjoying the greenery right in front of him. Okay, let me bring you to the front porch of this property. Let's go. Alright, so where I'm standing on right now is where the front porch is at. As you can see, that this entire space here can park up to one car and not only that, you can fit some bicycles and bikes of your choice as well. You know what I really love about this area here, right, is that the front porch directly links to your front yard where those people who have green fingers, as I mentioned previously, can plant all the trees and the plants of your choice. And my favourite part of this place here is this area here 
a very nice and a very quaint area here that allows you to just sit down, relax, enjoy the birds chirping, read a magazine, or even just put on your shoes to kickstart the day. Let us take a look at how the second floor of this property looks like. Let's go. Alright, so let me bring you to the second floor of this property, but before I do so, let me talk a little bit more about the stairs, right? Usually for landed listing videos, you don't see me talking about the stairs, but these stairs here are definitely worthy of mention. As you can see that these stairs here, they are all painted black to fit the congruency of the Victorian style theme that the owner was going for, right? And to my right, you can see there was also full glass panels that allows light to flow naturally, okay? And one thing I really like about this stairwell is, is this feature wall over here, right? So this feature wall over here really looks like bricks, but it's actually all made of clay. So if you are a future owner coming here, you can design the feature wall as and when you like it, or as and how you like it. And not only that, you can also put your family portrait here and look up, right? There is an air well right here that allows natural lighting to come down that shines on your family portrait as you enjoy your day. Okay, let's take a look at how the second floor of this property looks like. Let's go. Alright, so here we are on the second floor of this property and on this second floor, we actually have three bedrooms in total. One master bedroom, one junior master, as well as one study area, okay? So I think that this corner here is really worthy of mention because this place here can double as an entertainment area and what you can see, the owner has done is that they have placed a fridge here for their drinks, right? And especially a rack for all their ornaments that they want to keep as well. So this couch here, to be honest, is the favourite part of this property for me because this space here is where you can chill after a long day at work or just have some board games with your friends right here as well okay let's take a look at how the master bedroom looks like let's go Alright, so welcome to my favorite part of this place, which is the master bedroom, right? I think that the first thing that comes into your mind is why is this bedroom so huge and so big, right? And the reason behind that is because the owners actually have broken down two particular rooms into one and amalgamated them together to make it into one very spacious master bedroom. Come on in, let's take a look, right? So to my right here, you can see there's an ensuite bathroom and not only that, there are full ceiling height wardrobes for you to keep as many clothes as you want, okay? And this corner right here is the corner that used to be one bedroom and as you can see, what the owners have done is that they have placed a sofa set here, a coffee table here as well as a TV and a TV console here as well. And this allows the owner to enjoy and relax after a long day at work, right? And to my right, you see this is where the king size bed is and one amazing thing about this master bedroom, right, is the amount of details the owner actually placed in here. Because you can see these pillars here and if you recall, if you remember, Remember, the feature wall that was leading up to the staircase that was there, right? Right below the airwell is the same bricks that were laid on that feature wall as well, you know? This master bedroom here is really amazing because you see those fixtures, the fittings here, this all reminds me of the quaint cafes that I used to visit in JB as well, okay? And the highlight of this master bedroom is the balcony. Alright, so this to me is my favourite part of this place because come on, how rare is it to find a balcony that is linking straight to the master bedroom, right? And one concern that many people have is that the balcony area cannot be too small because it can't be used or too big because there's a lot of wasted space, right? But what we can see here is that this balcony area is of perfect size because the owners have placed a reading table here, two reading chairs here and even a cabinet for his books, right? And according to the owners, this is their favourite part of this place because they get to enjoy a book after a long day of work enjoying the flora and fauna outside, okay? I've shown you the first floor, I've shown you the master bedroom let Nishong show you how the rest of the property looks like. Let's go. Okay, I'm sure Jervis has shown you the first floor of this property and also the master bedroom. Let me bring you to the two other bedrooms of this house and also the highlight, which I really love the most. Okay, so this room where I'm standing on right now, it is the junior bedroom and this has been converted to actually a music room. You can see there are speakers over there and also acoustic panels and this is where the birth of Singapore's prolific DJ was at. Okay, so right here we also have our viewing wardrobe so you can easily convert it back to one of the bedrooms if you require. And also behind, you actually have your resting area. You can easily put a sofa right there. So let me bring you to the study room of this. So this is the study room of this house and you can see here there is a bifold door right there so you can easily close it up if you need your privacy. And this long study table over here can fit up to three individuals easily. So what I really like about this room is that you have your ensuite bathroom so you don't have to leave this room if you need to have some toilet breaks. And what is behind me is this spiral staircase that leads you to the highlight of this property. Come, follow me. Okay, 
so this is the highlight of this house and this is my favorite corner of the whole property and why do I say that? Because you get your very own private and cozy space where you can easily bring up to three to four friends, put some bin bags here, bring your PlayStation up, you can play some games here, watch some shows, or you can even bring your mahjong table up and this place can easily fit up to four people. And you can play all night without worrying that you'll disturb your family or friends. And what I really like is that this, you don't have to worry about where sun because this facing here, it is true north. And even though it's at the top floor of this property, you don't feel the heat at all. Alright, so Parry Avenue is located in the District 16 vicinity of Singapore and is near the Badok area, right? It is accessible through the nearest train stations such as Bayshore MRT, the Thomson East Coast Line that is due in 2023, the Badok South MRT and also the Tanamera Station. The nearest primary schools include Tomasic Primary School and Badok Green Primary School. So this property is close to amenities like NQC Fair Price at the new Upper Changi area, Cold Storage Eastwood and Giant at Badok North Street 1. The closer shopping malls near by at Badok Point, Badok Shopping Complex and East Village. If you are an avid cyclist and you just want to cycle to East Coast Park, not to worry, it's just a 10 minute cycling to the East Coast Park by the underpass and there you go, you are at East Coast Park. So Nishong, after a long day of shoot, we finally come to the end of this home tour, right? So we've reached the part of... What do we like about this place? <laughs> so Nishong, what do you like about this place? What I really like about this house is that you are able to fit small or even big families because yeah. you can increase the number of bedrooms without increase any additional floors. That's so true. And what I really love about this place is just the locality. Come on, it's so hard to find a landed property in the Padre Avenue. It's really such an amazing place. And not only that, I don't know how creative this owner can get to convert this entire place to an English Victorian theme home and also it really looks like a queen cafe that we usually visit, right? Yes. So after this, let's go for Cattle. Let's go. Okay, so anyways, thank you so much for watching yet another episode of the JNA Unlock series. And if you love our channel, you love this video, if you love this property, do remember to contact our client care manager and thank you so much for watching yet another episode of JNA Unlock.